hi everyone so it is Sunday and I'm gonna post this video today not worried about what I look like not worried about how messy my house is none of it I just wanted to come back on here and start by just kind of giving an explanation of what's been going on in my life and our life and give you guys a big update about all of the craziness that has been going on within the past almost a year and a half really since I have been off of YouTube and yeah um, I am going to title this video an update of course but also how I've been disobedient to the Lord um, I feel like every time I come on YouTube, I am like, I'm going to be more consistent about posting. I'm going to do this and that, but like, I just don't do it. And I am extremely lazy when it comes to filming a video, putting the effort in, um, being vulnerable in this sense. And it just like, it feels more of like a mental roadblock than it actually is. And so me making this video, me posting it today has quite literally been a year and a half really of disobedience me feeling the lord calling me to make a video calling me to post calling me to use the platform that he has given me and me not doing it and so i wanted to start off by being vulnerable and repenting to all of you um, about that just because that's what the Bible tells us to do and I genuinely feel that just me putting this video out and the video that I'm going to post after this um, is just going to be a step to getting on the right path and where I need to be with the Lord. I feel like in my personal life, um, in my marriage and all of that sort, everything has been um, I've been growing spiritually. I feel like me and the Lord have honestly been closer than we've ever been. Um, but still, this has been such a huge area of disobedience for me. I felt the Lord calling me. I feel, I feel him telling me to do something. And I just have not done it for no reason other than laziness. And so yeah, that is just a long introduction to telling you guys a simple like why I haven't posted um, but getting into the update, so from the last place we filmed, we were in California still. Um, we posted that and announced our pregnancy and our gender reveal. We had our daughter, um, and she is just absolutely incredible. She is about a year and a half now. Um, her name is Sayla, so we are just completely in love with her. She is everything to us um i'm so blessed to get to say that i stay home with her and i only working one day a week in the salon which has been amazing um so i'm super grateful for that and we actually transitioned our life and so we are now in nashville tennessee we moved all the way from california to here um we felt the lord calling us to move to Nashville um, at the time uh, we were in San Jose so this is I don't even think you guys know this update at all um, Jamal and I both um, but more so Jamal uh, because Sayla was little at the time and she still is but stepped into full-time ministry and preaching at a church in San Jose and then from there we stayed there for about a year um, and that's when we felt the Lord release us and to go to Nashville. When we first came to this church, we kind of felt that on our heart. Um, and we told our pastors there um, that eventually we do feel the call to go to Nashville. And that's something that we would be doing. And so with that being said, we stayed there for about a year. Jamal was over the young adults ministry. Um, and then I also helped when I could and kind of. Um, cultivated relationships and uh, just really 
kind of started the young adults ministry at that church because it hadn't quite grown into anything and it, and it wasn't um, established, I would say. And so with that being said, we were there. Uh, we really enjoyed it. We felt like God uh, really used that as a stepping stone for us and a huge learning experience, a huge like um, kind of path right into ministry since we had always uh, either, how do I say, we'd had like mentors and, and like leadership in our life, but we were never like fully involved in ministry to where we were like pastoring. So that is awesome. Um, yeah, I feel like that is the main thing to do with ministry wise. And then we had a lot of different confirmation and things leading up to the move here in Tennessee. And if you want, um, Jamal and I can break down like a deeper video on different ways that we felt confirmation to come to Tennessee and, um, what that looks like to hear the Lord's voice in a season of transition like that. So let me know if you guys want us to film that. Just comment that down below. And yeah, what else? So after we moved here, we just moved to Tennessee in January. So we have been here for just a little bit longer than six months now. And it's been amazing. So since we got here, we feel that eventually while we're here, the Lord will call us to church plant. But right now we are not doing that. We kind of feel just like a season to take a step back, learn the spiritual climate here, take time to really get roots in a church and just uh, a new atmosphere altogether. So that's kind of what we've been doing. We found a church that we love here and it's been amazing. And... Yeah, my daughter is, our daughter is just growing like crazy. I cannot believe just how much babies grow in such a short amount of time. But she has been just the biggest blessing and joy to our lives. She's talking and walking, running really. Um, yeah, she's just so full of life. I'm definitely going to have her in a little vlog or something I don't know I'll have to figure it out I really got to like find a flow of what I want to do here also so sorry if this video feels like very random and kind of up and down but just kind of picking up the camera and being raw um, talking about what comes to my mind what the Holy Spirit leads me to talk about and so yeah that is just like a small little update. There's many more details, of course. And if you guys have questions or um, just other things that you guys want us to talk about, please comment them below. Give me ideas. My next video, I already know. And I am going to post that one after this one. So hopefully... It will be like super consecutive because I want it to be that way to keep me accountable. Um, but I want to talk about modesty. That is something that I feel like I wanted to make a video on for a long time. And I know that it's time for that. So my next video is going to talk about modesty and what that looks like. So definitely watch that video after this one. Let me know what else you guys want me to talk about. I might make maybe like a little short video with like pictures and stuff of my daughter from like birth to where she is now. So you can see just the growth and how beautiful she is. <laughs> um, yeah. Hubby's at work right now. He works full time here. And so that has been a big change, but we are grateful, grateful for um, what God has provided for us here this far. We definitely have been taken care of, struggling within that, but still taken care of. Um, yeah, I feel like that is something that I could definitely talk about, is just the expectation of when God calls you somewhere, 
you are just like, I'm going to be taken care of. Everything is going to be perfectly aligned. It is going to be, I don't want to say easy, but it's going to flow. And, um, yeah, that's just not always the case. Even when something is from God, a lot of the times it does come with a lot of resistance, um, from the enemy, from, um, other factors. And I, I feel like with such a big move, I wasn't totally prepared for that. And so that was something I struggled with a lot in the beginning is just like, really leaning in and really trusting God. We both came here without jobs, without um, a huge savings or a big giant plan, just uh, the voice of the Lord and a place to live, praise God. And so, yeah, it has definitely been just a crazy time, but um, we feel like this is our home. We feel like this is where God has placed us. We've seen God move a lot already since we've been here. We've made some amazing friends. Um, we have had a little community around us. And I feel like it's a lot more sustainable here, even just family-wise, getting Selah. Um, giving Sayla a different life than I think she would have had in California opportunity wise, friendship wise, all of that. The people are so different here. The Southern hospitality is such a real thing and we love that about it. Um, we love that there's a lot of like-minded people here, but it's also very um, like culturally diverse, at least where we are. I know that's probably not the case for everywhere. And yeah, um, I'm trying to think of what else I can say. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to be doing videos also like on homemaking and stuff like that because I feel like that's something I'm really passionate about and, um, something that the Lord's definitely graced me for and given me favor in. And so... Yeah, let me know guys what you guys want to see and thank you for watching my videos thank you for commenting all of your um prayers and everything like being concerned about us asking where we've been and just being really thoughtful and sweet we really do appreciate it i still see all your comments it honestly blows my mind that people will still comment however many two two years a year and a half later and they still want to hear about us, want an update. Honestly, that every time somebody does that, it's more confirmation for me that um, this is where the Lord is leading me. And so thank you for doing that. I really, really do appreciate it. I really appreciate the support. I don't even think I've lost subscribers. I need to go look. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm, I'm really, really grateful. So thank you guys for your patience. Thank you for understanding. Um, I'm probably never going to be a content creator. Well, no, I don't want I don't want to speak that. Let me just cut myself right there. I'm trying to, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So I'm trying to speak life right now. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to go ahead and make that modest video, modesty video now. So watch that after this one. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.